just cool down, get some lighter food in you and sit in the tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll get you back on the bike. I don't know, like, same, same warm-up plan, all right? Yeah. Nice job, though. Thanks, man. That's top secret stuff. You can't be. What's insane? It hurt. Sony Panchik, Bailey, and now Graham Holmberg. A little bit. I never did it. I didn't want to do it, other than one time. I was gonna go straight to the hurt. With this lens, I saw some expressions on your face that I've never seen on your face. Woo. I knew it was gonna be all on those dumbbells, but honestly, like, my quads were cramping on the pull-ups from the wall ball. And I'm like, oh no, this this won't be good going into the pistols, but the pistols felt fine. Got through those. But you knew the test, the test really came down to enduring that hurt on that snatch. That's, that's no fun. It's just so long and just so methodical. You just got to stay on it. But I tried to stay in, just focus on sets of fives and sets of tens as best as I could. And every now and then it came just two at a time. But I think I got fourth on it, so I'm happy with that. How often do you do pistols for training? You know, I need to probably add them regularly. They can be beneficial for you when done really properly, help build some stability in the knee. Um, my knees are actually better than, you know, my knee's been, it's funny because it was a fairly minor surgery, but I had such bad mechanics to start with that getting back to where I wanted to be took longer than necessary. Once they announce pistols, <laughs> I'm like, all right, time to start doing them. It's really uh, focusing more on my mobility and the hip and the calves. So you didn't really do pistols before? No, I mean, I just don't like them. I just, uh... How many times between the games last year and before they announced them, how many times do you think you did pistols in a workout? Yeah, I mean, probably... Yeah, I mean, I remember, did, I remember doing Mary one time just for the sake of doing it, and I couldn't even do legit pistols when I tried it, and I had to hold, like, a, an object to keep me counterbalanced. And I remember my butt was so sore the next day and thought, man, I, mean, I need to do these a little more regularly, but it's kind of one of those things. You're like, ah... I'll do other stuff. You know, honestly, I think the thing that works really good for me and is a really safe modification for a lot of people is just a high box step up. And uh, so I do a little bit more of that when pistols get announced because that helps keep my foot fully loaded, keeps the knee safe, and helps build the balance and strength. And then kind of just out here, it's just like, I feel like I'm athletic enough. I can, I can balance even if my heel doesn't stay down. It's not proper. It's not structurally good, but... It'll work for, to get me through a workout. You know, I just tried to think, uh, I just try to think about my son and just think like, just push through this, do this for him. And, you know, Rich and Dan and I, we all had a prayer before. And it's just like, get me through this, Lord, because this hurts. I don't want to do this anymore. And just, just let me focus on each rep and get through it. And, um, eventually you get to that, you, you feel like that hundred's forever away. And then eventually you're there. How old is he? How old is he? Uh, like three weeks, three days or something. So he's just a puppy still. How did having a son affect your training? Um, I was talking with Rich about it earlier. Like, I really stopped doing two-a-days. Just crammed more into about two hours. Tried to do a little bit more regular, just like strict dips, strict chins, uh, some airdyne and stuff in my garage. A little bit more jump rope. Just basic stuff that I can do at home. I don't need to go back to the gym to do. And it's nice to be able to just step in my door and see, see my little guy. So. Um, no, no, I mean, you know, honestly, I'm, uh, you know, being an athlete and playing sports and being in pressure situations, that butterflies and those nerves never go away. It's not given. You got to go out and perform and you got to do the work. And I think Khalifa said it in an interview like, hey, you got to be confident in that you're training and that you've put the dedication and effort in. And then it's going to be there. Here comes Graham Holmberg! Burning and Holmberg! Burning and Holmberg! When you, want to, when you want to push the gas down, it's going to be there for you to, to work on. So I'm not, I'm still nervous because it's pressure. You know, you got to go out, you got to, got to make every rep count. And, uh, and it's a foot race. We saw that from workout one. And, you know, and I want to qualify and I want to be one. I'd love to knock him off again or just, you know, beat him. And, uh, but just like he says, I just want to win. It's not even about who I'm beating or how much I beat you by. I just want to win. So, got some work to do. Got a lot of work to do. Do you ever, you're a big fish in a big pond. Do you ever wish that, like, these guys, you were in a different region where you would just, you have to deal with these guys. You could wait till the games to deal with them. Sure. 
I mean, you know, you could look at it and say, you know, I think it'd be an easier path, but I like as an athlete, and it's funny, my dad always would say it too, like when the game's on the line and when it matters, I want the ball. Hit the ball to me, I'll make the play. Let me be on the mound throwing the last pitch. Let me be at the plate trying to knock in the last run. And um, you know how I guess that translates to this is like, I want to get to the games and know, damn, he earned his spot to be at the games. And he did it in one of the hardest regions. You know what, and at the games, if I get 10th, if I get 20th or whatever, like. Yeah, I'd still love to win, but um, this is just as difficult as the games um, on, a, on just a different scale, you know. There's a lot of pressure. At the games, you're, you're at the games. This, you got three spots to get to be at the games. It's, it's, it's crunch time here for sure. How old are you? 28. A little lighter. I'm like one, maybe like 188 this year, just under 190. Last year, I was more 195, 200. Felt like just... I was too heavy. I was trying to be too strong and just felt heavy and slow. Are you going to have more kids? Yes. It's awesome. Love it. He's so awesome and uh, Savannah's a great mother and such a great partner and support. We're very thankful. How's your affiliate doing? Got a lot of great members, a lot of good, good vibe there. You know, you have to come out sometime, come hang out in Columbus for a few more days, but again, just very thankful. It's like so awesome to walk in there every day it just puts a huge smile on your face knowing that you know it's like uh I feel like will ferrell living the dream like dude you're a competitor you got a kid you got a gym like you get to work out all day like it's just really a really neat unique situation and i think just a neat time for the sport of crossfit and just this evolution of crossfit of it all and in the community and the world getting involved with it all and i think it's just a it's a neat timeline to be right there at the uh, kind of the inception of it.